I'm Teresa with Teresa Renee Art. I'm going to crack open a Coke. Let me know when you're on. Make sure to say hello. Hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's having a nice Tuesday after a long weekend. And um, sorry I didn't get a chance to come back on like we talked about last week. Uh, life got in the way, of course. Hello, Jesse. How are you? Um, yeah, so just make sure to let me know when you're on. Say hello. Hello, Julie. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining. Um, we're going to finish up our little desk organizer today. Um, so we are going to finish that today. And we'll see what we, uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes, guys. Um, not really that much left to do. Hello, Cindy. How are you? Um, yeah, so tomorrow I will be live here and over on Deck Posh Queen. We're going to be doing a journal project using the um, journal kit. So make sure to, um, to check that out. Hi, Diana. I have a Facebook user here. Hold on. Let me see who we got. Okay. Um, so are you guys ready to get started? We have, uh, it's, it should be pretty short tonight. What? I'm curious how you, why you struggled to get it, Julie. Let me know what's going on. Why are you having such a hard time um, with the papers? Uh, I saw you posted that it took you, it took a while. So I wasn't sure. Is it because of where you're located? Um, or what's the situation? Cause we can connect you with somebody if it's a, it's, if it's a logistics issue. Hello, Jill. How are you? Nice to see you. Thank you for joining. All right. We have a, who's our Facebook user here. I can't tell. I can't tell. That's Cindy. I think it's somebody on our decoupage. If you're watching on decoupage and mixed media inspirations, it um, may be that I can't see you over there. Uh, might have been Jill, though, because I can see Jill now. Okay, you guys, let's switch our camera over. Let's finish up this little desk organizer. Let me straighten my camera. Um, this is from Snip Art, you guys. It's a really um, fun kit. And I can't remember if I, um, did I assemble this live <laughs> or not? Or not? I can't remember. It's been a little while. Um, so what I decided to do is I'm going to decoupage the sides. So I painted the sides white and I thought I would just use this paper this one because I I think that's nice and neutral and that's going to cover up my little seams here too um so let me make an outline and we'll figure this out you're in the UK costing fortunes import okay awesome <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Thank you for the reminder. I can't remember. It's been a while. So I feel like I'm coming back on vacation or something. Um, so we've got a couple things. I do have some, I'm going to have a couple of weeks where I'm going to be out of pocket. We have a vac family vacation planned in September the week of the 24th. Um, I may try to go live, but we'll see. I'm probably not going to push it. I'm not going to, I'm not going to push it. If it happens, it happens. Um, let's do it this way. And then um, I have a couple trips planned in October. So coming up in October, I do have my workshop in Fallbrook. Uh, you can check that out on my link tree. I have a link to that. 
we're going to be doing a um, enchanted garden series. Uh, it's going to be a um, a box and also a really cool like planter type boot. Um, so we have that coming up, and then I have a couple of other travel events in October, which are going to take me out of pocket for a little while. So it's going to be hit or miss, you guys, in September and October. Oh, let me find my scissors. So anyway, you'll bear, hopefully you'll just bear with me and we will uh, keep plugging away at what we can do. All right, here is my tray, just like home interiors. Yeah, and then um, Mad Arches, also Leanne has them as well. Um, so, well, I'm glad you got it sorted out though. No worries. All right. Okay. Hello, Julie. How are you? Thank you. Thank you for joining. Um, the important thing is that you have them now, right? And you're going to make some amazing projects and I can't wait to see. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to use this rice paper, cut it out nice and pretty. And we're going to stick that on the sides. I decided not to do mold, so I'm not going to put any molds on it. We're just we're going to use some paint and then we're going to do um, we're probably going to use some like 3D decor paint. So we'll do it that way. Uh, but if you missed it, I did say tomorrow, um, 530 Eastern, I will be live over on Decoupage Queen page. And I will be doing the new sunflower we'll be making a journal from scratch and i'll be using the new sunflower ephemera journal kit a lot of people have asked me what do i do with it how do i use it and so i thought it might be a good opportunity to show everyone um, some ideas for how you might use that kit it's very versatile you can use really i mean there's Tons of things you can do with it, but I'm going to show you how I would go about creating a journal with it. And that's at 530 Eastern tomorrow. And then, of course, on Thursday, we'll be back, we'll be back over here and we'll start something new because we're going to finish this one up tonight. So we have to decide what we're going to start on Thursday. I've got a couple of boxes. I have one of these little cedar, these little miniature cedar chests, you guys. I was going to show you this. Um, so I have got this on eBay, this little miniature cedar chest. And I'm going to make something with this. So I thought we might start working on something with this one on Thursday. But since I'll have a new journal, we might do a journal page or something. I don't know. How do you guys feel about journaling? Anybody interested in learning more about junk journaling, art journaling, etc.? There's a lot of pages that are doing that now. Um, so we haven't done a lot of it over here just because I'm not a huge paper crafter, art journaler person. I like making journals. I don't necessarily um, like decorating the insides that much, but I do have some things I could show you. Julie's interested. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, 
I like to, you like to make journals too. I love making them. I just never, I never really use them that much, but uh, I'll show, I, I'm going to show you my example tomorrow of the one that I made the sunflower journal. And I actually did do quite a bit in that one. Um, and I used the new Rochelle paper for the cover of that one. And it was so pretty. So I um, can teach you how to make little tags and pockets and stuff like that. As long as your expectations are reasonably low, because I am not um, an expert at the actual journaling part. <laughs> I'm pretty well advanced at making the journals themselves and the covers, but the actual filling the pages and journaling part, not so much. So anyway, I kind of do it my way like I do everything else. All right. Okay, cedar boxes. Oh, awesome. That's cool. Yeah, like I love those little cedar boxes. Um, and I also have one that was like my childhood. I think every kid probably has like a little childhood wooden box or something that they can put all their little knickknacks or treasures in. And I have one that um, used to belong to my grandfather and it is all sorts of um, bent up and busted up. And I think it's time for a makeover on that one too. So, all right. Pull this back just a touch because I've got a little bubble from where I don't I didn't get enough glue in here. So smooth that back out. All right. Mash that down. Okay, you guys, I'm going to um, dry. Let's dry now. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to come back over here and make sure I have a good seal on the tops of these. And I don't have any paper flopping like right there. Got some paper flopping. Um, Okay. Um, all right. So Jill, are you still on? Jill Humphrey, are you still here? I need to talk to you. I need to see if you got what I got. Um, Jesse, uh, craft circus or circus craft has them. You can also go to decoupagequeen.com forward slash retailers and you can find all of our retailers all over the country. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining. Um, there's also a place called Rustic River Home in Australia that has them. Hi, Amanda. I'm doing well. Thank you. How are you? 
Thank you so much for popping on. Hope you're doing great. Having a great Tuesday. I need to show you guys this. I did this on uh, live with my retailers on Saturday. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I wanted to show you that. So uh, we might do like a mixed media project like this soon. Something kind of spooky for Halloween. Uh, but that's going to be in the auction. That piece will be in an upcoming auction, not the next auction, but an upcoming auction. Um, I do have an auction um, starting on, it's Sunday, all day on Sunday. It's a silent auction. Um, it's in the Art Healing Hearts auction group. Um, and it's myself and two other artists on Sunday. Uh, but that's going to be awesome. So if you want me to uh, share that link with you, just send me a little note. Okay, so let's flip this over. Basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to do like a lot of touch up. Thank you, Nora. Packing ornaments. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to be doing a little bit of touch up with some a small brush and I have this is indigo blue this is the same color I used before and um, we're gonna start here with this color this blue and don't worry we are gonna do a little bit of dry brushing to blend this out but I want to get some color on there Let's see orders oh you're packing ornaments okay I was like, oh, I thought you were, I thought maybe you were doing another um, class or something. But packing orders is good too. That's always a good feeling when you have orders to pack. All right, let's go over here. Same thing on this side. And like I said, don't worry, we're not, I'm not, I'm not at blending yet. We're going to, we are going to dry brush that a little bit. I'm just trying to get a little bit of color on here is all. And Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here at the bottom. I'm actually going to do this all the way around. We could also start making ornaments, guys. I mean, Christmas co Christmas is coming up. We could do like we could do like an ornament series, like a four. We could do something like that, which I need to do anyway. So I'm going to do it one way or another. So I guess here's my here's my vote because I know you guys I like to let y'all have a vote. So for Thursday, um, here are your three options. So starting Thursday, here's your three options. Option A or option one, journal pages. Option two, the cedar box. Or option three, ornaments. So y'all let me know. Option one is journal pages. Option two is cedar box. And option uh, three is ornaments. Bye, Jesse. Have a great day. Cedar box. So we have, <laughs> I know you can only pick one, normal pages, journal pages. So journal pages, we got a couple of votes for journal pages. 
Um, and we wouldn't spend like more than probably a week on journal pages, you guys. I just want to show you some examples of some things that I might do. And like how to use kind of to take basically what that would do is my live tomorrow it would sort of take it. It would be like part two of that. Journal pages. Okay, you guys. All right. We can do some journal pages. Totally fine with me. Totally fine. I say let's do it. All right. So again, I'm just taking the indigo, indigo blue, and I'm working this all the way around the base of my box, all this little trim that I have. Anywhere where there's wood or white showing at this point. All right, you guys, awesome. Well, um, thank you for having confidence in me, even though I clearly told you that I am not an expert on journal pages. So we'll figure it out. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to like go, um, like watch some YouTube's or something tonight, and make sure I don't embarrass myself. All right. I know the basics. I did. I actually bought, um, and I'm going to take it with me on vacation. Maybe that's what I'll share with you along the way. But I actually bought a class on Etsy. It's from um, an artist in Poland. She goes by Woo Woo W U W U. Um, and basically, she sends you like a whole kit that has stained papers and stained lace and it's scrapbook pad and it's like six videos uh, and she takes you through step by step like how she does journals so i feel like i'll be a lot better equipped after i do her class and that's going to be my vacation project this year but in the meantime we can um we can muddle along um, <laughs> you're so sweet, Amanda. We can muddle along with, um, the skills that I currently have. So, um, you know, and I just want to make this point to that point. Uh, it's always, always a good idea to further your skills and learn from people that you come across that might not eat, you know, might not even be in your everyday circle. Um, you know, so I, I love that you spend this time with me, but I, I also hope that you're, um, watching other creators and seeking out, uh, fresh, you know, sources of inspiration. Cause there is so much talent out there, you guys, so much talent. And, um, you certainly are not going to learn it all in one place. I can tell you that. So, and some of the, like, um, I just have to say, like, some of these ladies in Poland that have been doing, like, they've been doing junk journaling for a long time. Um, they've been doing decoupage for a long time. And there's just some phenomenal talent over in Europe. So, um, you know, some of them, some like, uh, woo woo, she barely speaks any English, but you know, her point is coming across in the videos that she's doing and you can see what she's doing. So even if they're not speaking the same language, don't be, don't be afraid. Um, 
to try something new. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, thank you. I am partial for sure to my own rice paper. All right, so I think I have that pretty well trimmed out. And I'm just using a thin, this is a filbert. It's pretty small. Yeah, she's amazing. Um, and she's so nice. So I talked to her a little bit and I told her that we were going to start doing journal packs and everything. And she, um, she volunteered to do some demos for us when we're, when we have a little bit more to offer. So hopefully we will get some of her beautiful ideas um, as well. Yeah, she's amazing. Um, Sue, if you have her link, or you're on YouTube, so probably not a lot of people are going to see it, but um, I was going to say, if anybody knows her and are, you're on Facebook, or if you want to pop over to Facebook, Sue, feel free to share her um, her link. I don't have it handy, otherwise I would. Okay. Uh, and she sells, she actually sells her journals on Etsy too. Um, like the finished ones. And I always find that interesting too. So what do you guys think? Like, what are your thoughts on this? Like, so I'm going to be selling the journal that I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to be showing it off a little bit tomorrow, but I am going to be selling that journal and it's partially decorated. And I just didn't know what people thought about that. Like, if you were going to buy a journal from someone, like a junk journal, would you rather have like a blank one with blank pages? Or would you rather buy one that somebody else has already decorated with all the little tuck spots and everything already done? I'm just curious. I did buy one from my friend. Um, I found one that was really beautiful. My friend is really into sewing and um, the whole theme of the journal was all about sewing and antique vintage patterns and stuff like that. And um, I did buy that and I sent it to her and she really, she really loved it. But I thought it was a little bit, you know, I, I do find it a little bit odd, but I guess the, that's kind of the point is, is like, it's kind of an art piece in and of itself, right? So um, for some people who might not necessarily want to, like, I'm not going to probably paint, like sit and paint or doodle inside a journal. I'm just not going to do that. But, you know, I could cut out little paper dolls or little um, sentiments and do little collages or whatever all day long. You know, that's right. Yeah, Amanda, you bought mine with the blank pages. And this one was all decorated. So here's, okay, so Amanda, here's a question. So if you, bu you bought mine, right, that was already decorated, or I'm sorry, that has the blank pages, would you then go in and like decorate it yourself? Or would you just leave it as is? I'm always curious about this kind of stuff. Like, what do people do with these things, you know? It's not like you can hang it on the wall, but I guess you could put it on a um, looky books. Yeah, they're like coffee. I guess it's kind of like the new coffee table book, right? For people who are into paper crafting and this type of art. I like to, I like looking at them. I leave them on my um, nightstand and I like looking at them. But yeah, I'm, I, I never really know how to answer that question when people go, well, what do you do with it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I just keep it. I look at it and I touch the pages. I don't know if it has vellum in it. It's 
even better because then I can crinkle those pages. All right, so I'm just taking now, I'm taking the country blue and I'm going over that dark indigo, kind of like I did on the back sides, if you'll recall. Um, a little bit of dry brushing, whitewashing, whatever you want to call it. Okay. You have two of them. Which one? I know you have the beach one. What's the other one, Amanda? Uh, I can't remember what the other one was. I know, was it one? What was it? Hey, Brenda. I don't remember. The dress. Oh, the dress one. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, and both of those were blank. I didn't do any pages in the dress one. So Rochelle, the one that's coming up for auction, there are quite a few pages in that one done. So it's not finished, right? There's still plenty of room for somebody to come in and play, but um, I did do a few. Okay. So this is how I'm doing it. It's just the country blue and I'm just kind of um, dry brushing some edges here. Toning down that navy-ish feel. So I guess my question tomorrow, I have to decide if I'm going to do the Rochelle paper again for my life tomorrow or if I'm going to do something else. I think I'm going to have to do something else. I was thinking um, maybe the garden boots paper, but I'm not sure. So you guys help me decide what uh, paper to use. I w it needs to be sunflower, so because we're going to be using the sunflower pack. Okay. Actually, what I might do is get the A3 size of the country sunflowers pack and use one of those for on it yeah i'm going to use the journal kit inside but not for the cover so the cover needs to be a decoupage paper and i am going to use the whole journal kit like to make my signatures and stuff All right. Large version of that. I can't print it during the time. The boots. Yeah, I think the boots one. So funny story about the Amanda when Amanda um I really don't like that paper at all. Um, in fact, I uh, almost did not include it. Um, but I know my audience. <laughs> I know my audience very well. And I knew that that paper would be a hit and sure enough everybody else likes it 
it's kind of like to me, so it's a, sort of along the same lines, like, you know, so it almost didn't become a paper. That's kind of my, my funny, um, you know, like my funny story about these sometimes is like, if I think they're too boring, you know, they almost, they get cut. Right. And I've cut a lot of boring papers, you guys. Um, so French grain sack from last fall was one that I just like, it was so boring to me. And like, I, I literally did cut it. And then um, I, I put it in at the last minute. And sometimes what I do is like, I'll show Terry, Nancy, and Yvette. And if they like it, but I don't, um, then it'll stay. So you never know. You never know. So there, there have actually been a lot of papers like that over the course of this thing that um, have been really surprising how well they did. Hello, Miriam. Yeah, well, and I'm, I hope that it's selling well for you. I'm not going to presume that it is, but I hope that it is. Um, I know in the pre-sale it did really well. Okay, so here we go. So I have this now done. Um, all kind of framed out and dry brushed etc. I really don't think that this needs much else. I think that I, I think, you know, the papers and the color scheme can kind of stand on their on their own. But if I were to do something else, I want to show you what I would do. And then I'll let you guys decide. Um, if we do it or not. So the only other thing that I would do at this point is I would come in with um, a little bit of this, like this 3D decor pen. So I would come in with this and I might do some um, decor dots around the sides of this thing. So you guys tell me if you want me to do like the little, just some little decor dots. Stipple, stip, stipple silver raindrops on the umbrella. We could do like a little, we could do a little bit of, um, oh, let's see. I also have a silver glitter pen. So we could do a little bit of glitter on the, on the thing. I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning toward little rivets, but I don't know. So I have one vote for no, two votes for yes. Okay. Let's see if anybody else votes. Oh. No rivets. So we have, um, <laughs> she says no rivets. So if we don't do the rivets, Cindy votes rivets. Miriam can go either way. I think I'm going to do the rivets, you guys, because the alternative, the original idea here was I was going to do molds along the sides. Um, Let's do a couple and just see what we think. I don't know. I'm not sure that it's adding much, but it's also not taking away too much. So I'm going to commit. I kind of like the idea because this to me, like this whole, this paper feels, um, 
it almost ha feels like denim, like the color scheme and the paper. And, you know, like anytime you have jeans on pockets, you know, you got little rivets, right? So that's kind of what it feels like to me. Um, and of course we could put some down at the bottom too, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Just the ones on the side, just a little touch, like just a little touch, right? Um, so I'm going to leave that alone. Actually, I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to call it done. I don't think I need to do anything else. Um, if I did do like, maybe I'll do just a little bit of glitter here. Maybe just a little bit. I mean, cause like I have my silver glitter pen and I haven't used it. So maybe I'll do just a little bit of silver glitter. Maybe just a little bit. And then up in here. It's not raindrops, but it's like the points of the umbrella. We can be okay with that, right? Just a little bit of glam <laughs> looks effective. Thank you. That's what I was going for. I was going for that. Okay, so just a little touch of glitter there, you guys. Not too crazy. Uh, we won't give the man the mystery. We won't give the mystery man any glitter because it's not about him. This is not about him. It's about her, right? Okay, you guys. So 40 minutes. I'm done. We're going to do journal pages on Thursday. Tomorrow, if you're around, join me over on um, – Terry's going to be moderating as well. So join me over on uh, the Decoupage Queen page, or you can join me here either way. And we'll be doing a – handmade journal from scratch starting tomorrow. Uh, we're going to, it's probably going to take us about two hours. So plan on a long one that, that time. And then on Thursday, we'll come back. We'll decorate some pages in that journal. Okay, you guys. Well, that's all I have for you tonight and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for joining. Take care. Bye-bye.